hi what is up youtube welcome to another upgrade video so today i'm going to upgrade my laptop so this is the third upgrade i do to my laptop but today i'm going to upgrade the hard drive to a 2.5 inch uh ssd and i'm also going to use the smaller 20 to 42 millimeter socket ssd left so this is a uh, 512 gigs a smaller version of it here we get our uh, faster speeds while playing games i'm gonna go ahead and use this usb to set the connector and i'm gonna connect it to the computer and transfer everything i have on my hard drive into this ssd before i insert it into the computer very light no moving parts faster than hard drive All right. here is a manual again won't go through it but read it if you can All right so we want to go ahead and connect this right here all right and then we will go ahead and plug it up to the laptop and as a comparison to a, an actual hard drive it is just the same so it can match the computer same size so the hard drive is a little bit thicker All right, so once on your computer, you will notice that you cannot see the new SSD through your file explorer. So that's because the drive is an unallocated drive and that's why you cannot see it here. Go ahead and use a cloning software to clone your actual drive to the new drive. So for that, I'm using Iome. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right backupper professional all right there are many programs that, that can do it but this one i found this one to be very very nice and it has more functionalities as a backup functionality restore cloning and other utilities so yeah once you launch this app you want to go ahead and go to clone and here you have three options you have clone disk which is what we want to do right now hit clone disk and here it's going to break down all the disks in the computer so this is my drive I'm trying to clone this is a one terabyte drive and it's almost full and this is my main drive as you can see C right here and this is a backup SSD and this is the current SSD I'm trying to clone my drive into so you want to go ahead and select first the drive you are trying to clone as you can see right here select the disk that you wish to clone all right so this is the disk i'm trying to clone you want to go ahead and hit next and now it says select a destination disk to clone the source disk to. all right so now we are going to our brand new and allocated drive which is empty right now and we want to go ahead and hit next now remember this is a huge drive already used more than half of it already used so you want to uh, make sure you have some time for it because it can take hours to clone such a big disk alright so you want to read the summary Make sure you selected the right disk because the target disk would be uh, wiped. It's gonna erase everything in it. So you wanna make sure you got the right disks. Hit star clone. As you can see here, 
clone is initializing, checking volumes, disk cloning, copying volume. So yeah, this is going to take some time depending on how big your drive is. So yeah, you can make sure you leave your charger plugged so you don't run out of juice. And uh, yeah, that's it. You just want to wait until it is done and you'll be all set. Right. what's cool about this program is it gives you information you can check this box right here to shut down the computer when it's done because it's gonna take quite some time it gives you how uh, the amount of space already copied over the amount of space left to copy you have the speed in which the files are being copied and you have the remaining time one hour which is very fast actually all right, so after roughly one hour, the operation was successful, as you can see right here. So now we have the clone disk. We can go ahead and hit finish and uh, close the program. So we wanna eject it first, and then disconnect it. And then we can go ahead and shut down the computer. go ahead and locate the hard drive so here is our SSD so here is the hard drive all right so you want to take off the screws around the hard drive and remove the hard drive just like that Alright, so next step, you want to go ahead and remove the SAT screws. And then, you are ready to disconnect the SATA cable, just like that. You want to put that aside so you want to reconnect this cable you can click in you want to go ahead and put back this cover just like that just like this put back the four screws Right, so you have that done you're gonna go ahead and slide it back to the socket all right now you are successfully replaced the hard drive with an SSD you're gonna be many times faster on the hard drive and yeah you can use the hard drive as a backup drive or whatever so yeah so we are done with the hard drive upgrade it is now time to go ahead and unpack this 2242 millimeters SSD card so here is so here is the SSD card. So this is a 512 gigs SSD card. And here you can see that it has two keys. One the M key and the other one the B key. And if you look closely, I only have one key. On the SS on the, the socket that doesn't matter it still works 
it is just gonna be slower than the other drives it works even though you only have one key on the socket as you can see here all right so to replace it you just want to go ahead and remove the base screw like that it's a tiny screw you don't want to lose it and then you want to go ahead and insert your new SSD just like that at this angle it is just gonna snap in so you want to go ahead and push it down and put back the screw So now all the sockets on my computer are being used. Now this is nice, I have plenty of space for my games and other files. So no worries about running out of space anytime soon. So yeah, now let's go ahead and put the back cover back, put back the screws, and then it will be time to put it up. Alright, computer just booted and you will notice that if you launch the file explorer you cannot see the new drive but again the one terabyte hard drive has been replaced by the new SSD drive as disk F might be different from yours but uh, yeah this was a D disk and now it's a F all right, no problem with that. It will just work normally. And yeah, now we have one drive that isn't displayed yet. So to figure that out, you wanna go ahead and do Windows X and select disk management. And you will see this pop up right here that you have to initialize a disk before logical disk manager can access it. And it's a disk zero. All right, go ahead and hit okay and yeah this is the disk inserted as disk 0 476 gigs on allocated drive so you want to right click new sample volume next 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 finish that's all you have to do and then it's gonna pop up right here as an empty drive as you can see and now you have four disks inserted to the computer this is just how it works so now I have plenty of space to uh, use as you can see right here so yeah, that was it on how to upgrade the Alienware 17 Revision 4. If you have a question, drop it in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos. See you around.